Okay, so this is just a side note for me. Um, I would like to see if you think the production quality went up, because I used different video editing tools, and I edited the audio to get rid of background noise. So, that just quick note for me. Um, so, this is post-production, obviously, but yeah. So I hope you guys have a... Well, hope you guys watch the video and have like a, a nice, nice time watching it, basically. <laughs> so yeah, uh, again, if you have any opinions on quality production, any like that, please tell me because I'm, I'm up for improvement. So yeah. Hello everyone, Mr. Chris Plumix is here, and today we're looking at OpenSUSE Tumbleweed. So. OpenSUSE Tumbleweed is a Linux distribution based on SUSE. Oh, yeah, basically. So, uh, yeah, it uses so a weird combination of things. So it uses YAST for uh, some of its front-end package management. It uses Zipper for some of the terminal package management, but I think YAST is just a front-end for Zipper. And then you got, uh, you got RPM packages, of course, because this is... Yeah, it's RPM packages, so... Yes, yeah, so let's just get right onto it. First impressions, I like it a lot. So, as you can see, you have you got your network, your uh, updates, power, audio. So, that's cool. Say your mic and. Yeah. Yeah, basically, it's using. Yeah, you just said a whole lot of stuff. It's really, uh, it's good. Good, I like it. Okay, and of course it's using military time, which I do not like. But yes, it has a little calendar up here, so that's cool. And then it has, uh, well, you can set up do not disturb for basically your notification settings. So, yeah. So, included applications. So, accessories. It has a bunch of the, well, normal accessories, like file manager, screenshot, mouse pad, some text editor. Password and keys, so that you manage your password with that, which I think is cool. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I mean, zip, unzip your files with graphics. It includes document scanner, GIMP, and image viewer. Yep, pretty. Uh, it's pretty, pretty standard. Pretty standard. Uh, so internet. So it includes Firefox. It's a default web browser, which I like. Uh, Pigeon, so you can talk over instant messengers. If you still do that in 2020, connect to remote desktops. If you're that kind of Thing. Uh, you got a mail news client, then you got a VNC viewer if you're yeah, connected remotely, and then you got transmission, which is, yeah, you can torrent your files, which is, if you do that, yeah. Multimedia, so it includes Parole Media Player. Personally, I still like VLC better, but yeah, that includes Praga for uh, music files. Again, I personally would prefer VLC for that. Office, it includes the whole library office suite, so yep, that is nice. Uh, settings it includes a lot of settings to choose from, like uh, change your notification settings. Uh, I have XFCE panel settings since I this is XFCE. I choose that install. Uh, settings manager, window window manager tweaks. You can tweak that. You got Yes, which is yet another setup tool. Is what it stands for. Advanced network configuration disks it includes VirtualBox right out of the box. Uh, yep. Pretty much, uh, you just got YAS itself. Uh, mm hmm. So, bunch of stuff comes with YAS. Huh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, lots of stuff. So, yeah. So, let's go check out. File manager. So uh, this is pretty standard. Uh, pretty standard file manager. Obviously, it has a. Uh, I like the icons though. Some things don't even have icons. Yeah, connect your network drive. So you can always do that. Uh. Yep. I still have the ISO installed. Uh, Pretty, pretty standard. So, uh, snappiness. So let's just open up a few things. I gave this thing like four cores, so. Uh, it, uh. It's pro okay, I already don't like this, though. It has the OpenSUSE search. 
Personally, I would just prefer to use DuckDuckGo or Google, but of course you can always change that in Firefox's settings. So, uh... Yeah, you can always go to DuckDuckGo. But, uh, yep, it's pretty... Pretty, uh, snappy. I will say that. Definitely usable. So if you just wanted to learn how to play a fish some random reason. Playback smooth. Though, of course, this is a VM, so if we playback smooth here, it's gonna be smooth. That is probably because I accidentally forgot to assign it for cores, but <laughs> if it ran this well with one core, I'm just sure that it will run good with four cores, so yeah. Memory, I assigned it 8 gigs and it's using 7%. Uh, don't know exactly what that is in, as a number, because I'm a little. Hang on a minute. Uh, well, yeah, I don't know what it is as a number. But, uh, yeah. Oh, I could always do this. I haven't thought of that. that. So, just do that. Okay. Apparently it doesn't have each top installed, but yeah. Oh yeah, so it uses this thing to, called Yas software if you want to download packages for the front end. So for some reason it has to start the software manager, which is a little, a little dumb, but yeah. Uh... I must have to update this, which is a little weird considering, wait, oh, you actually have to, hmm, there we go, oh, you actually have to search, you can't just browse, but anyway, yeah, you install stuff like Chromium, pretty sure that, yep, Chromium, right there, or if you happen to have a NVIDIA graphics card, I mean, pretty sure some NVIDIA tools are installed here. I mean, it has the open source Novia driver. Uh, I, of course, I don't use that, but uh, yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure Steam. Yeah, yeah, Steam. Of course, you got Wine. Yeah. Uh, yep. Not much else to say. Uh, yep. Pretty, pretty short video on this thing, but yeah, I like it, so that is good. It is. I heard this thing was unstable, but so far, from what I gather, it is not unstable whatsoever. It is actually really snappy, so that is good. So, yeah. Anyway, Mr. Chris Linux User signing out, and I hope to see you guys next time. Have a good day.